So what's James doing out here? He must be playing with the doggy. Rico. It's spring, so why not pick some flowers and make a beautiful wildflower arrangement with the little flowers you find in your front yard. It's so cute, but you can make a really cute piece with it. Wildflower arrangement we have sitting on it's kind of pretty instead of somebody in the view. So I'm just going to pop these in some water and a little cute coffee creamer that's an antique piece and voila. I know it's not perfect, but hey. I pick these outside of my front yard. Come on now. And now you have a little pretty arrangement. Now I'm going to enjoy a bougie little breakfast that I prepared for myself. If you don't mind, I think I will pour myself a cup of coffee. Why am I speaking in this accent? I don't know. It's not even that good. Well, I'm just going to have my bougie breakfast now. Thank you. And now it is time that I go and show off a few luxury items for the haters that like to joke around with um, my name. And there you go. If that if that's good for you, I hope it is. Thank you. I hope this is good for you. Is this good? Is this good? Let me know. Do y'all need some more? I can go dig up some more bags. The next bag I'm about to show you is my favorite store of, of all. Yes, the Dollar Tree. It deserved to be sitting up here all by itself. Yes, go ahead, Dollar Tree. And now it's bath time. I'm getting ready to relax and take a hot bath and get ready for the day.
putting in some Epsom salt after I put that bath bomb in there, just for some extra relaxation. So I set out what I'm gonna to wear today, this really pretty dress I got from Saks. And I am still using my favorite marshmallow pumpkin latte uh, soap, AKA shower gel from Fall. I love that scent. And it's just so relaxing in here. I love my bathtub. You always see it in the back of some of my videos when I'm in my bathroom at my vanity. So I just wanted to give you a closer look. And when I get out, I love lotion and oil. So this is what I put on. I love smelling tropical. So I thought the sound was up, but it wasn't. Anyway, I'm spritzing on my Chanel number no. five. And here's my dress. What do you guys think? Yes, I'm spraying this on like body spray, but it smells, it smells good. Well, while I'm here, let me go ahead and promote my own business. Level Up Cosmetics, yes, it's on Poshmark. It is a very great place to start a business because you get lots of traffic. A lot of people are on Poshmark and when they scroll through, they will see you and you don't even have to pay for advertisement. Isn't that wonderful? These are the shoes, the sparkly shoes that I've chosen today to go with my bougie outfit since I have to be extra bougie. Um, for people I like gel my oh. Even Velvet has her own masseuse. <laughs> So, this is the Dollar Tree Challenge finished makeup look, and I also curled my hair a little bit, give y'all a little wave, a little beachy wave. How did, I, how did it turn out? Yeah, I used the same curling iron that Duval, uh, curling wand, and I like how it curls. This is a very thick wig, so it took me a while, and I didn't even do very much of it. Just wanted a little body, a little wig. So, um, this is my little cute tunic dress. I don't have the shoes that I was gonna wear with it. It didn't match right, so I'm just gonna wear these little cute blue, um, these little cute blue slides. And they're very like, cute and girly. Like I'm going shopping, and I'm actually not going shopping, but I have to look cute, you know? So, yeah, so this is my outfit. It's just like a very cute loose tunic and <laughs> tassel here. So it's just a cute little loungy dress. So, hey guys, I'm on my way to pick up a Sasha from her friend's house. So you cracked your phone because you sat on it. Yes. Sasha. But you're skinny. But mama, I want to you to see my chalk project. 
Let me see that. Oh, that's pretty good. It's not. Oh, oh, it's over oh, there. Sorry. It's really good. Look at that. Do you understand you my story? I understand your story. I used to draw similar to this when I was younger. Very cute. I like it. I drew my friend. I'm still mad you cracked your phone. But I. It's only because I sat on. I didn't know if you sat on your phone on concrete, it would break. Why would you sit on it though? Because it was in my pocket. <sighs> you told me to wear pockets. But I didn't tell you phone. to sit on your phone. Yeah, exactly, but, but did it. Oh, the police over there. What the, they don't want over there. Maybe they live over there. <laughs> this is, they're like, I don't know. So, um, we'll have to hit CBS and then we can order at home. Because I definitely don't feel like going to the grocery store. Yeah, it's not that bad. Um, I, oh, I bought, I got you a gift. It's a stylus. Oh. That way you don't have to really use your finger too much. Oh my god, that, that's perfect now because that means I don't have to touch my finger. Yeah. <laughs> She's gonna see the laser pointer. That's enough, so. Okay, go put them up so she doesn't get distracted. Go put them away. So I'm just flipping through this vegan cookbook. They have some really good recipes and just getting some ideas. It's really, really good recipes. So I was just looking through it. Thought I'd show you guys because some of you guys always ask me what are some vegan cooking ideas and I'm looking for some as well. So I guess I'll try to leave the link to this book in the comments. This book is called Vegan Comfort Food or Vegan Comfort Cooking by Melanie McDonald. And I will try to leave links in the description. I was reading a thank you card from one of my subscribers. It was so sweet, so I wanted to personally say thank you. You know who you are. And now it's time to say bye.